Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, today I am continuing with my declutter series and I'm doing my yellows today. Now I only have one yellow drawer. Um, a majority of these are mustards or prugly yellows. Um, I only recently started branching out to kind of like sunshine yellows. Um, some of these you guys might look at and think that they're more orange or they're more green. However, if they have a yellow base to them, then I put them with my yellows just so that they don't get lost within my hundreds of greens that I already own. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not sure how many I'll be decluttering. I think there are a few that are very similar to each other, but for the most part, I think a lot of these are very different from each other. Okay, so first one is a mustard. This one is Autumn's Up by China Glaze. I love this one. This is so beautiful. Not getting rid of this one. Beautiful formula. Okay, then we have Kale um, Caramello. Beautiful. I love this one. I'm going to keep that. Okay, then we have, what is the brand of this one? It's called Mystery Polish, and I got this one from Barb, and this one is Camellia. So beautiful, I love this one. Barb actually got this one from Sheila, but Barb knew that I would appreciate this much more than she would, and it's beautiful. So I'm not getting rid of that one. Okay, then we have NCLA Yellowstone. This is one that I wanna set aside. I think I have three that are very similar. Um, I know I did swatch them at one point together, and one of them swatches differently than the others, but I don't remember which one. So I'm gonna set them all aside when we come to them, and I'll swatch them. Okay, Different Dimensions Grunge. This one you might think is kind of like a grungy green, but it is yellow base, so I keep it with my yellows. And I love this one, not getting rid of it. I absolutely love my Pruglies. I don't think I'll be getting rid of any of them. Okay, then we have Sing Songbird Along by Essie. This one's pretty, I like this one. Okay, then we have El Corazon. Got this one from Olga, this one. I think it's just numbered 423. I don't think this one has a name. I haven't worn this one yet, so I want to give it a try. But let me, okay, let me kind of set aside some of my mustards and see if any of them are dupes of each other. Um, then we have Essie's, you know, the Espadrille. I'm not getting rid of this one. I love this one. It's so beautiful. I haven't worn it yet, but it's beautiful. Keeping that. Okay, then we have Rogue Lacquer's Cactus Flower. Look at that, I'm not decluttering that. Okay, then we have Night Owl Lacquer, This Is Me Now. Beautiful, look at those flakes, so pretty. Yellow and green together, yes please. Okay, then we have OPI Behind the Scenes. This one's pretty. This is when I was kind of starting to branch away from just mustards and I started buying some other yellows. Um, then we have an Expressi. This one is Shook. Beautiful. All the Expressis have amazing formulas. Keeping that. Okay, then we have OPI The It Color. Beautiful. I got this one at TJ Maxx. I might have one or two in this same color category, so let me set that one aside as well. Okay, then we have Island P Sparks May Fly. I'm not getting rid of this. This is amazing. It's like a, a root beer uh, sparkle. It's not really hollow. They're tiny flakes, but it's just so beautiful. And it is yellow based, so I keep it with my yellows, but it's just, it's amazing. I absolutely love this one. If you guys are just branching into Island P and you're curious, this would be one of my top Island P's and I highly recommend it. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer Whiskey Business. I actually, I decluttered, this is one from years ago. Um, they're kind of like years and years ago, they had a birthstone collection and then they branched off from that birthstone collection and just started doing other polishes in the same finish, where it's like this ultra, ultra, uh, like foily sparkle. And I had Whiskey Business. I was in love with it, I decluttered it. And then a while back, I pulled it out of my declutter bag. Um, I was thinking of using it to Franken. And it had changed colors. It had tarnished significantly. I had decluttered quite a bit of them because they all tarnished. And this one tarnished, but it tarnished into a really beautiful color. So I re-swatched it. I put a rubber band on it because technically I haven't worn the new version. And I took it out because it's really interesting now. I really like the color that it 
tarnished into. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have KL peanut butter. Beautiful. Back when KL was really popular, everyone went crazy for caramello, but I always preferred peanut butter. I like them both, I'm gonna keep them both, but I do prefer peanut butter. Okay, then we have Calorza Carol Element 79. This is one of their reflectives. I haven't worn it yet. But what I've been doing now with my reflectives, um, I finally started wearing them because I was not wanting to wear any of them because I just don't like thick reflectives, is that I use one coat over coordinating undies. So that's what I'll do when I get to this one, wear that over undies. Okay, then we have Calorza Carol Sweetie Pie. I'm gonna keep that one. K90 Pineapple Punch, one of her smoothie bars. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I do like the brightness of the yellow, so I'm gonna keep that. But whenever, I I think the last time I wore this, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure I use a topper over it just because those black shreds are very sparse. So when I do wear this, because I do like the tone of the yellow, I will probably add more, um, another topper to it. Okay, then we have a Fair Maiden's Lemon Chiffon. I was on the fence about this one. I was initially thinking that I would probably declutter it. I did not like this tone on my nails. However, everyone told me that it was so pretty and that I should keep it when I wore it and I said how much I didn't like it, um, that I should keep it. And I feel like this has really good um, duping potentials for my duping series. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for now. I could see myself decluttering this in the future if I can't figure out a way to wear this and really love it. But for now, I think I'll keep it just because it is so pretty and I do feel like I might have a use for it in the future. So I'll keep it for now. Okay, then we have Color Clubs. I'm a sure thing, beautiful. I'm gonna keep this and compare it to some of my other mustards. So I'll set that one aside. Okay, then we have Cupcake Polish. It's fall, y'all. I'm gonna keep this one, beautiful. Mustard, like grungy mustard hollow, so pretty. I'm gonna try to get to this this fall. Okay, this is one of the ones that I feel like I have a few that I bought around the same time. I think the other one is a patina, and then I have an oily one. I bought them all at separate times, but around the same time, because at the time they were unique to me. I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I don't have anything like it. And I grabbed it. And then I saw this, I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I don't have anything like it. And then I somehow accumulated like four or five all around the same time. So I'm gonna pull them all aside and swatch those. Okay, then we have Simple Colors. This is one of their bee polishes. Busy Being Queen, beautiful. I'm gonna keep that one. K-O-P-I Marigold Hour. I love this one. It has an amazing formula. However, it's looking kind of similar to in the same, I mean, they're, they're all like mustardy, sunshiny colors. Um, I'm gonna swatch them all together and we'll see. However, this one definitely is looking like it's a different tone, so, but we'll see. Okay, then we have Island P Legacy, another one that I absolutely love with the Sparks Fly. Some of my top Island P, absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend either of these if you're into Island P or you're wanting to branch into Island P. Okay, then we have Different Dimensions, Squeeze the Day. This is so pretty, beautiful. I'm very, very intimidated by neon yellows. I love neons, neon reds, neon greens, Neon pinks, I love them, neon purples. But neon yellows, I have always been extremely intimidated by. So I only have a couple and I never really seem to wear them. However, they are so beautiful for October month that um, I kind of started buying a couple. So this is one of them, it has a really beautiful formula. I don't remember how I wore this, but it is really pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, then we have Orly, this one is Golden Afternoon, this is another one that I accumulated at the same time. I'm pretty sure when I swatched them, they were all very different except for one was pretty similar, but we'll see. Okay, then we have Essie. <clears throat> this one is Aim to Misbehave. I'm not getting rid of this one. Very pretty, it's a yellowy metallic, which I don't really love metallics, but 
Essie never used to do yellows. Like it was very, very rare that Essie would ever do yellows. They're starting to do them more. But anytime Essie did a yellow, everyone went crazy for them. And I was never into them. Like I wasn't really into Essie at the time. So a lot of their yellows I don't have. And then I got this one from a friend. So I'm very happy to have this one. And I'll be keeping that one just because Essie yellows are kind of rare. I mean, that's stupid to say it's a nail polish, but if you're watching me, you know what I mean. Okay, then we have Different Dimensions Buttersweet Symphony. This is so pretty. I haven't worn this one in a long time, but this is beautiful. Love this one. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, not getting rid of this one. I was fortunate enough to grab this before they went out of business. This is Enchanted Polish Sci-Fi. This is absolutely amazing. One of my top yellows for sure. Never getting rid of that. Okay, Cert Colors. This one is Haydenist. So this one... <laughs> Last summer, last year, I was on a low buy, and Cert Colors are very expensive. They're like $13, $14, $15 now. I heard some of their polishes are upwards of $16 now. And, you know, like I said before, I've always been very intimidated by neon yellows. And when I saw this one came out in their Vice Collection, I wanted it desperately because it's a perfect, like, one, two coat top yellow. Um, neon yellows are very hard to formulate, and they're always very streaky and bad formulas and I wanted it so badly but I didn't and it was the only one that I wanted I didn't want to spend $13.50 plus like $5 shipping for one polish and so I bought a bunch of other cheap yellow neons off of wherever 88 Beauty we're going to come to them and they were so horrible and then I broke down I finally bought this but my friend Lisa told me about a website something with an S I can't remember what the website was called um, but they had this with free shipping, so I was able to get it just for the $13.50, and I got it, and it's so beautiful. I meant to wear it in October, and I didn't get to it, but I'm definitely keeping this beautiful, beautiful neon. Let me save some of the yellows. Um, I'm only seeing one right now, but um, on my quest for a nice neon yellow, I bought yellow polka dot bikini. Hor Actually, I thought I had... Um, here's the other one. I thought I already owned this one from years ago and I bought two more, but I don't see, I'm not seeing the other yellows. Um, but anyways, this one, yellow polka dot bikini, terrible formula. And this one is Celtic sun, terrible formulas. They're both horrible. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. Those are for sure declutters. But I feel like I had this one many, many years ago and decluttered it. And then I guess I rebought it when I was on my quest for neon yellows. Because I distinctly remember that I bought two neat China Club, China Glaze neon yellows, and I don't see another one. So it must have been this one. Either way, they're both terrible formulas. I'm getting rid of them both. Okay, then we have my Salon Perfect's Dippin' Dot. This one is Banana Split. Keeping that beautiful. Okay, and then we have Zoya's honey. I'll compare this with all these other mustardy yellows. Okay, then we have Olive Ave Lemon Blossom. This has a terrible formula. However, it's a really unique and interesting yellow. Actually, um, no, this one's darker. Um, I'm going to keep it. It has a bad formula, but it is a really unique yellow, so I'm going to keep it because it has, you know, topper potential. Okay, this one is Simple Colors, one of their sheer mattes. This one is See-Through Citrine. I could have sworn I wore this one already. I think I used it for duping polish, but never actually got to wearing the dupe yet. I'm beautiful. I'm keeping that one. I love all my Simple Color um, mattes, sheer, sheer mattes. Okay, then we have Simple Colors Beatnik. This one you probably think is green, but it's yellow-based. And so I keep both my yellows just so it doesn't get lost. Although here it's looking like it's definitely green base, but it's pulls yellow base. So I'm keeping with my yellows. Beautiful. I love that one. I'm getting rid of that. Okay, this is the other bateen, the other one that I was saying that I bought them all around the same time. Bettina Poise. So I will swatch all of these together. Looking at them now, I believe it was the NCLA. That swatch is way different than these two, and these two are very similar. But we'll see. Okay, then we have EDK DeLorean. I'm not getting rid of this. It's amazing. I love it. Keeping that. Okay, and then we have China Glaze 
Mustard the Courage, beautiful. I will swatch it with my mustards, but I don't think I'll be getting rid of that one. Okay, then we have Espressi Taxi Hopping, another one that looks like it pulls green, but it's yellow base and it's amazing. Beautiful formula, so keeping that. Okay, oh, I keep meaning to wear this one. This is Glam Polish. I think it's pronounced Go Tigers, but it's G-E-A-U-X. I feel like it's probably pronounced Go, Go Tigers. Either way, it's beautiful. I'm not getting rid of that one. Okay, then we have Believe Beauty Bet On Us. This is a really interesting undertone yellow. It's kind of a mustard, but it's got a very unique undertone. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not even gonna compare it to anything because it's very unique. Okay, Night Owl Lacquer Cozy Sweater. Beautiful, I love this one. Definitely keeping that. Okay, then we have 9-0 Corn Maze, a beautiful yellow hollow, a true mustard yellow hollow, amazing. Not getting rid of that one. It does stain though. Okay, then we have OPI Sun, Sea, and Sand in My Pants. I'm gonna compare this with the other ones. Sorry about the lighting today. It's very gloomy and rainy out today. All right, then we have Rogue Lacquer Les Poissons. I got this one from Hella Handman Creation, November 2021. This is beautiful, I love this one. I love these really like grungy, interesting colors. Look at those little tiny red and black, tiny, tiny um, flakies, so beautiful, I love this one. Okay, then we have, I got this one from, I think Krista. This is Noodles Nail Polish Berries and Cream. Initially, I was thinking of decluttering this because this is when I wasn't quite into yellows, but I'm branching out and getting into yellows. However, I don't remember what the formula is on this one, so I think I will swatch that one, but I'll probably keep it because it is interesting and unique. Okay, then we have Essay Espressi Don't Hate Curate. Love that one. I will compare this with some of these mustards. Okay, then we have Color Club Get Your Lem On. This one has a really interesting green sheen, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have, I got this one from Olga. This one is L'Oreal Juan Citron. Juan Citron, very pretty. It's kind of like a buttery yellow. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, another neon yellow. This one is Fancy Gloss Game Over. Very pretty. I'm surprised it's still as neon as it is and it hasn't faded. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, another grungy Different Dimensions alternative. Different Dimensions is really good at these grungy, like yellowy, greeny, browny grungies. They're just, they're so pretty. Look at that, beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then you have OPI, Don't Tell a Soul. This one's really pretty, I like that one. I'm gonna keep that. Then we have, oh, I thought I wore this one. This is Glisten and Glow Suicide Awareness. That's pretty. You know what, I think I pulled this out to wear for Halloween month and I didn't get to it. That's why it feels familiar because I feel like I had, had it on my rack. Okay, then we have My Happy Bass. I always want to call it My Happy Bass, but everyone tells me it's My Happy Bass. Or do they tell me it's the opposite? I always want to call it one thing and everyone always corrects me in the comments and says that it's the other and I can't remember. But anyways, really, really beautiful. Not keep not getting rid of it. I love this one. I have a few where they're kind of this like grungy, where's the other one? These kind of like pukey, grungy, yellowy greens and I'm keeping them all. Okay, then we have OPI, Be Unapologetic. This one does not have a good formula, but it's so pretty. I'm keeping it anyways. These ones, um, I have, I think like three of them from the collection where it's um, these like brights and then it has the pretty shimmers. They all have difficult formulas, but they're all so pretty. Um, so you just have to be very careful with your application um, and then possibly do a topper on top to mask some of the bald spots. Okay, then we have Believe Beauty Golden Girl. This is another one that's looking kind of like the other ones. So I will swatch all those together. Okay, then we have Blush Lacquer's Positronic Brain. I'm keeping this, this is amazing, I love this one. Another one that you guys probably think is green, but as you can see down at the bottom, 
you can see that it's yellow based. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then we have Island P Morning Dew. I love this one as well. This is beautiful, another gorgeous Island P. So keeping that one. Okay, then we have Cirque Colors Laverne. Very pretty. This one is kind of like an orangey yellow base, but it pulls more yellow. That one's pretty, keeping that one. Okay, then we have Night Owl It Mustard Bin Love. This is a mustard, however, it pulls very different than all the other mustards that I have. It has a very different undertone and it's much lighter than the other, so I'm keeping that one. All right, then we have Painted Polish Garbage Glow Up. I am not getting rid of this one. It is amazing. And then in the same vein is Emily Damali Enjoy the Fall. They look similar, however, they're very different. Um, I've compared these a couple different times within my videos both gorgeous on their own however if i had to pick one i would pick um the garbage glow up but they're both beautiful on their own and i'm keeping them both this is enjoy the fall by emily damali all right then we have opi ochre the moon i love this i'm not getting rid of this look at how yucky that is <laughs> i love it i love yucky colors this is simple colors chamomile something chamomile calm very unique and interesting. Keeping that one. We're almost done. Just a few more. Um, Fair Maiden's Nail Soup. Beautiful. I'm keeping this one. This one, I always feel like I want to put it with my glitter toppers because I tend to, I always wear undies with it. However, it's in a yellow base, a very sheer yellow base. So it's technically not a topper, but I always wear it with undies and it's absolutely amazing. I'm never getting rid of that. Okay. This one is Native War Paint. Flutter Shy. Oh, this one might be the one that I th think I might have gotten from Krista. I got both of these in swaps with friends, and I don't remember which one Krista gave me. I know she gave me one of these. Um, this one, I was initially going to declutter, but it's got a really nice formula, and now that I'm you know, branching out in my yellows, I'm going to keep this one. And you know, I think I'm just going to keep this one as well. I'm going to keep them both. All right, then we have Simple Colors... Save the Bees, very pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Painted Polish, Mystery Crelly Quattro. I love this. I actually got this twice from two different friends and swaps. One from Barb, and then the second time, I wanna say it might have been from Carolina. Um, I love this so much. I was tempted to keep both for myself, but I really don't need backups at this point of anything. Maybe toppers, but not of polishes, and I Passed one along, I can't remember who I passed it along, but absolutely beautiful, I love this. This is kind of like, like mannequin zombie nails on me and I love it with those little flakies. So, so beautiful, keeping that one. All right, Night Owl Lacquer Fall is amazing. Keeping that one. Got this one from my friend Laura. This is Zoya's Pippa, beautiful, I love this one. I wore this last year, it was one of my favorite manis of the year. Um, I wore white glitters on top of this and it was just so beautiful. Okay, last one, Island P Spice Eggnog. Really, really pretty, like that one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatching and I'll come back and show you guys. All right, you guys, so I swatched everything and I have been staring at these swatches for quite a while trying to decide what to do. There are a couple that I am gonna be decluttering but it took me a very long time to decide which ones. Okay, so the first grouping are the softer, more muted mustards. Um, I was just shy of enough spots. I had to use the empty spot that was in between these two. So the first one, this one is Orly's Golden Afternoon. And as you can see, we're the first grouping are these first five. As you can see, that one's much lighter and it's very different, so I'm keeping that one. And then we have the Believe Beauty. And that one, I think you can tell, is much different as well. These three are the three mostly in question. So these two are different from each other. This one's the lightest one, and then you have this one is darker, has more richness to it. So I'm gonna keep the Believe Beauty. All right, now the three that I was on the fence about are the NCLA, the Bettina, and then the LA Color. So I think you can tell from the swatches with the lighting, I think you can see that the NCLA is much different from these two. So these three 
are very different from the last two. So I'm gonna keep the NCLA. The last two, the Bettina and the LA color. Now technically, these are different. I think you can tell from these five swatches that all five of them are different. However, these three, the NCLA, the Bettina, and then the LA colors, yes, they're different. However, there's only like half a shade difference between these two. And then these two are half a shade, maybe a full shade different. So because I'm keeping this one, I feel like I wanna keep the LA color because that one is richer. Um, it's much darker from this one. And then the Bettina is like a step in between these two. I feel like I don't need all three and I'm tempted to just keep the LA colors, although I hate LA color brushes. They're so short and squat and then the brushes themselves are really fat and wide and fluffy and it's really hard for me to get into my narrow nail beds. So that's why I was kind of on the fence about which one to keep. However, I do think I am gonna keep the LA color just because it's a lot more rich and I feel like I would be missing something if I were to keep this one instead of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the Bettina and then I will keep the NCLA and I will keep the LA colors. All right, now the next grouping from here to here. This is where I had a lot of problems and this is what was um, taking me so long to decide. So the first three, these are identical. These are all three OPI and they are identical. The first one is sun, sea, and sand in my pants. And then we have marigold and hour, which I've worn. It's beautiful. I love that one. I know it has a nice formula. And then we have the it color. Now, a lot of times on the nail wheel, things will look one way, but then when you swatch them on your nails, they can be slightly different. So just to be sure, I did pull up all three of the swatches to do a comparison and they are identical. However, I don't know which one to get rid of you guys. Um, really, I should only keep one, but I'm so torn between the three that I think I'm gonna keep two. And even deciding which two to keep was really hard. So sun, sea, and sand in my pants. I'm tempted to keep that because of the name. Like I live in Florida and you know, we have the beach, we have the sun, and I feel like this is just a really fun, interesting, polished to own living in Florida. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. And then Marigold and Hour, I've worn this, it's beautiful. I know that I like this one, so I wanna keep that one as well. And then the It color, I feel like just looking at my swatch pictures, this one looks like it has a slightly less nice formula. So although they're all identical, I feel like this one of the three has the least nice formula. So I'm gonna get rid of the It color. And then, I mean, I really should only keep one of these. However, I really just can't decide. And polish is meant to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. And the fact that I really honestly can't decide, I'm just gonna keep them both. So I'm gonna keep those. And then the next grouping, I think you can see with the bad lighting today, I think you can see that they are all different. First one we have is Zoya's Honey. And then we have the Essie, what was this one called? Um, Don't Hate Curate. And I think you can see that the Essie is much darker and richer than the Honey, than the Zoya. And then the next two, these are the two that are the most similar. And they're both China Glaze. One is Autumn's Up. And then the next one is um, Mustard the Courage. They are different from each other. I feel like they're similar and I could probably get rid of one of them. However, they're both such classic China glazes that I really don't know which one that I would wanna get rid of. And I think you can tell on camera that the Autumn's Up is, I would say at least half a shade lighter. I'd say about half a shade lighter than the Autumn's Up. So technically they are different and I don't really need to feel guilty keeping them both. Um, so I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna keep them both. They're both very different from the, the other two. These two pull much more orange. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep them both. And then the last two, the El Carazin and then the Color Club, you can clearly see that they're way different. They're not even 
in the same color as the others. All right, so that means I'm decluttering four. I'm gonna declutter the two neon yellows from China Glaze, Celtic Sun, and um, what was this one called? Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. And then I'm gonna declutter the Bettina, and I'm gonna declutter OPI's The Ed Color. All right, so four, that's pretty good. I was honestly thinking that I would probably only declutter the two neon yellows. So, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.